Buddy, um, I'm going to kind of play with, because Josh and Neil was watching when I was doing with the kids, I'm going to kind of play with what we were doing with a little bit. And it goes back to what Professor Murrow was starting with. So, since it's something working with you, if I can borrow you some wrenches. So, the, the flow group. And everybody has this. You're just working it with the elbows, right? So the difference is the elbow, close quarters versus long range. And you can go back and forth, right? Okay, so what I want to do now is mess with Frenchy here. So he's going to do the flow drill, he's going to do the punch, and he's just going to do right hand. No matter what I do, he's just going to do what he's doing now. No matter what I do. Ah, see, I told you it was going to mess with him. Right? So one more time. Remember that motion. Don't change it at all. Not one. This is, this will mess with your brain a little bit. But it gives me an option to go, because I love this drill, you can work any techniques off of this drill, any punch techniques off of this drill. If you do it with kicks, keep it right. Oh, okay. Your turn. <laughs> so I can do it with my legs, too. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? So as he's coming here, now what he's going to do is he's going to do the one, two, three. So go one, so do your parry, parry, punch. That was parry, parry, pass punch. Parry, so I go parry, parry, punch, left. Ah, so what was a four count for him now becomes a three count for him. And he changed hands, and so now, because if I take the time to come around here, I'm going to get hit. It takes too much time to get there, right? So I'm just going to stay here. Well, we can go back there if you want. Yeah. Well, Andy. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> right? But now we get to work the inside. So if he has a technique that works the inside, he can work his technique off of that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Right? So it gives us the opportunity to move forward, back and forth to cross. The crazy thing is, oh, Okay, so work with me slowly here. And actually, grab a partner and play with that first, and then I'll work with you slowly. <laughs> when I switch, instead of doing a four count, I do a three count. So I go one, two, three, and he goes one, two, three, four on the inside. Yeah, no. <laughs> one, two, three. Now, we're both walking on the inside. But Renshi is punching with his right, and I'm punching with my left. So take the right out of it, and one person go right, and one person go left, and now just do that. <laughs> and you can do it on the other side too, right? So you can do it. It doesn't matter which hand you start on, and that's kind of my point. It really doesn't matter. We, we can do it outside of the left hand. <laughs> Except he's left right handed. Yeah. Punch with your left. I'll get it started. Yes. <laughs> Two, three, four. Right? Because we have left handed techniques too, right? Okay? <laughs> yes, it will mess with the mind. It will mess. So, I'm trying to do this for Kyoshi Dean. So I go 
One, two, three. Can we go one, two, three, four? Now we're back to one, two, three, four, both of us. Now Sensei Kevin, or Sensei, yeah. Renchi. <laughs> Renchi's uh, going to do the switch. He's going to do a one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, now I'm on the outside of the left. You're on the outside of the left. Two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So really it's a three count. It's a four count. Oh look, we're switching back. Because he likes his right hand so much, he's going to switch back, right? But the key is I can take that all the way to the other side, left to left, right to right, right to left, right to left to right. And you can move from both sides of the body with a smooth switch as long as you practice that motion over and over again. And it's simply nothing more than this all the time. Does that make sense? Right? It's if he's punching opposite hands. <laughs> the whole idea is to be able to make those switches move from side to side. And because most of us are one side dominant most of the time, it's really hard to make the switch to the other side until we take our time, make the motion slow, don't get in a hurry, until we ingrain it in our computer, right? And then you can start to pick up the pace and you can start to switch and the other person can pick it up most of the time. Most of the time, <laughs> all right? So take right now and just go, on the inside, and then let him do it on the other side, right? Because he's got to do it eventually too, right? So in, under, under. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes. Okay. Pick your, weak, pick your weak hand and try with that, okay? <laughs> Let go! When my hand comes down here, it has so much further to come back up here and deal with what's going on, right? So if he's punching, just throw right. The only time I'm going to let my hand drop at all is when he pushes it out of the way. I like to put it there. I like to put it there because it makes it harder for him to punch with that hand and gives me more time. Does that make sense? Yeah. If I put it right there, I'm checking that part of his body. I can't even reach him. <laughs> right? Okay? So, that's the only time I'm going to let my hand go down is if they push it into my head. And then it's in a position to come right up. And all he's got to do is pivot. I can't hold it there. Right? Once he starts moving me, I can't keep my hand there. And keep that position because he's moving me out of position at that point. Right? So, it, it, it's a... Tactical game. Put everything right here, not down here. Alright? Lots of you were doing it, but some of you were talking about it. You were not about it. This Paul Orlando. And when I was working on it, he used to walk by me and go, Get your hand to the elbow, dumb beetle. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, he wanted me to come here with my second parry. He wanted me to come here with my second parry because if I come here, he's got a weapon there. Yeah, right? So I've got to make sure that I watch that. Well, if I go over the top, it's hard for me to reach that. If I go underneath, I can tickle him. Yeah, I can reach way out. So when I bring that second hand, it's underneath. And then it slides, and then it checks, right? Oh, and if he switches, there we are. So now we're on the inside there. Go ahead. Right? So here, same thing. If I'm on the inside, I can reach out, right? I have more range of motion. And then, yeah, two, slide, yeah. Yeah, yeah right? So I have more range of motion if I come under as, if, as opposed to going over. Your time's going to do that.
right? From this drill, I learned to come under. Okay? Punch, I'm stepping in. Walk. Right? I like to chop at the nerve. I like to chop at the nerve of the bicep. And I like to make three points of contact on the inside of the knee as I step in. So if he's coming in to punch, boom. Right? From here, I'm going to hit. And I like to move my body across his from here. Because that hand is probably going to come. And to stop it, I'm going to hit. If I miss that, I can come to here. If I miss that, I can come to here. Right? So for the first part, one, two, three, four. Okay? Uppercut to the body. The circles. Okay? There's a few more pieces. We'll get that first. Okay? Thank you. Likely he's going to bend over, and likely the arms will collapse a little bit, right? So I've got this nerve here. That's a clear, right? I got this nerve here. That's another chop. And then this one comes with the head and the backs right there. Okay? So that's the whole technique. And I like to come. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? Do it a try. That. That. Right? I can take. And the thing I love about this is that. Oftentimes, we practice from a static attack. And as the defender comes the attacker, I stand there and let the other person beat the sun out of me. Right? Okay? But, but this way, what's happening is now I'm practicing timing for an entry. So I'm using my blocks and my counters, and all of a sudden, here comes my entry, and now I can start working my technique off of that drill, which builds a little bit better reaction time in terms of your, your picking up the blocks. So I love this drill immensely because it allows you to take your inside techniques and your outside techniques and be able to work them whether it's right or left, inside or outside, and be able to work them off of the drill and try to make them insert off of motion, which is what's happening in a fight, right? And so that's kind of why I like to play with this drill so much. So now, Take the drill and see if you can insert the technique. Mm -hmm. <laughs>